All right, Matt, thank you. Well, despite these extremely hot temperatures, people were out and about at the Nashville Zoo. They wanted to get a new look at the Komodo dragon exhibit, which is now the world's largest habitat in the Americas for these kinds of reptiles. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell tells us how this is allowing the zoo to save these kind of animals. It's hard to beat the heat and even this massive Komodo dragon whose name is Little Sebastian is trying to do so in that water. But you know, one of the reasons that they're considered endangered, it's because of climate change and the Nashville Zoo is trying everything they can to make sure these species survive for generations to come. Whoa, look how big he is. They're the heaviest lizard on earth. And can weigh more than 300 pounds. In the wild, they come together to breed, obviously. And reach up to 10 feet in length. Males get a lot bigger. Their bites can be deadly. Because they're so hot today. Yeah. But humans and climate change are an even bigger threat. They're in danger. I mean, non it means that there are not a lot of them. Sea level rise because they're on small islands would obviously affect their habitat and give them less habitat to be on. They can be really impacted by any kind of environmental change or human like hunting, things like that. It's why the Nashville Zoo helps protect the species by partnering with the Komodo Survival Program. We work to breed dragons to increase the genetic diversity of the population that we house in zoos. Uh, in the event that we need to do some type of reintroduction or something. The zoo's herpetology supervisor, Nick Hanna, says it's why they brought little Sebastian over six years ago. Look how big they So he came over here with the intention to breed with some of our other dragons that are here in the U.S. Since they're planning to add more lizards, they needed a larger space. Where are they? Dragon, dragon, where are they? Which is why they invested in a new habitat now the largest one in the Americas. You want space, obviously, you need a good sun. Komodo's a reptile, it's just a type of reptile. They need to be able to warm up and uh, digest their food and, and do their things. Hannah says this was 10 years in the making, between the planning and construction. Whoa. He knows the new habitat and the zoo's work is really making a difference, saving one giant Komodo dragon at a time. You take out one link in that chain and it affects every species that's part of that web. Uh, which includes us. In Nashville, Erin Cantrell, News Channel 5.